Okay, Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button. Do you subscribe? Let's get into your reading. Okay, you've got camera, you have love call, and you have photograph. Oh my God. Can you guys see that? Do I need to add a little more light? Yeah, it's getting a little dark in here. Okay, so what's going on? Hmm. Well, maybe that's a continuation from yesterday, Virgo. Someone expresses love, message of love, maybe some phone calls going back or some messages. Um, got a camera, a photograph, <laughs> taking pictures, looking at your photos, missing you, make memories, make new memories. Okay, let's see what's going on. Hmm, for the month of June, 2024. Let's see what messages there are here, Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. All right, Virgo. So you're starting off here with the Five of Pentacles. Um, I'm seeing two people or one person here needing to make a change or desiring to make some kind of lifestyle change because... There is a struggle, financial struggle, um, and being very persevering. I feel like somebody here wants to change something in a relationship with you uh, or the way a relationship is because it looks like you guys are having a hard time. Um, you're both struggling. It's, it's almost like I'm feeling like something needs to change here. Somebody feels like something needs to change. I'm hearing we can't keep going on like this. It's it's cold. <laughs> um, I mean, look at this card. It's so desolate. It's like, what the heck is going on here? Two people just feeling like, oh, we're, we're surviving. This relationship is surviving, but it is not thriving in maybe the way it needs to okay and there is this determination that something needs to be better something needs to change we have to change this relationship or make something like we got to do something different that's what i'm picking up now that could be you feeling that way and wanting a change or this whoever your person is but let's see what else is going on here okay yeah there's a there's a need here to really put in more effort and be more consistent <laughs> there's a desire here yeah to like i like virgo it could be you where you're like oh this person they need to do more they need to be hold on i'm gonna fix my light they they need to did that even help <laughs> sorry they need to do more they need to put in more effort consistent daily effort um or this person whoever your person is is thinking this about you um somebody wants you to call them more send them photos more take more pictures or they want or you want them to do that i don't know what that even means um okay let me just let's just keep going the overall message here though is that something needs to give that's that's what i feel like is going on here someone feels like you know what yeah something needs to give because we are struggling something needs to open the skies need to freaking part the skies need to part the heavens the horns the music everything needs to come to a finale okay now this could have something to do with finances with money you know with money um or just the relationship as a whole i feel like somebody wants someone to stop hiding behind okay so a couple of messages coming through somebody wants someone to stop hiding behind How do I say this? Okay, the way it, the way I'm getting receiving this is one person. This is how I'm feeling now. One person is definitely doing more than the other. There needs to be a balance. Yes, there needs to be a balance, and I feel like I feel like there's someone here. Your person. Whoever, whoever your person is, 
they want you to like stop putting in all this extra effort <laughs> what does that mean give okay so they're saying give them a chance to put in some effort i think we talked about that like last week give them an opportunity to put in the effort too but at the same time and that could be vice versa i, I feel like overall this your person i keep saying this because there is no this it's just whoever your person is they do feel like something needs to give they, because judgment is here judgment represents an opening up like a, a true opening up a decision what what do you what do you want that's what i'm hearing this person say what do you want from me or what do you need i want you to open up i want you to be vulnerable i want you to tell me everything okay now listen some of you maybe you already did that okay then it's you saying it to them okay or it's you asking or you know feeling this way okay so this opening up energy here show me everything show me that's what i'm hearing uh, they're giving me that word show me all right well the phrase show me it all come naked <laughs> expose express stop hiding okay mm, yeah there's a lot of anxiety connected to this relationship stop running away somebody feels like another person is just running away or sneaking away or slipping away or is having bad thoughts or negative thoughts about that happening and i'm and it feels like there's a message here there, there's a phone call or some type of communication like somebody really does love you but they're stressing they're stressing they're having like they, I don't know if they, they're concerned that you don't love them or that you're cheating or that you're just not devoting yourself to them. And I don't know why, Virgo. I Like, maybe you have, I mean, for you, maybe you're not. And maybe you have good reason. You know, I, I don't really know. But I feel like the energy of this person, they want you to, yeah, just completely open up. Here we have the Queen of Cups. So this is a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, masculine or feminine, more so in the feminine energy. I feel like this person, whoever your person is here, they want you to get into this Queen of Cups energy where you have more of a nurturing, healing, um, and, and show your empathy towards them. They want you to show empathy towards them. That's what this love call is all about. This isn't a call that's coming in that says, um, you know, hey, uh, I got my grass cut today. <laughs> it's like, so? You know, this this is a, a love, that's not a love call. Uh, or somebody that talks, and maybe you wish this from them or vice versa, but there's this, there's this daily phone call that's just kind of blah you know like you know oh guess what happened to me today i was driving down the road and my my tire hit a nail and i lost air in my tire and i had to call the tow truck like ooh, i feel like this person or someone here wants the emotional conversation you know i miss you i'm thinking about you i love you I love when you call. I was looking at your picture. Your, uh, did I ever tell you how beautiful you are or how handsome you are? That kind of energy, the emotion and the passion. It, there, there's a, something needs to give. That's, that's what I just keep feeling like and that's what needs to give here. There needs to be some passion and emotion and feelings expressed because there's a struggle. There's a serious struggle. I feel like somebody really loves you and maybe you really love somebody too, but there needs to be not, and so just like letting somebody know, and, and this could be you, Virgo, wanting this from another person, you know? Um, so I feel like, 
Like, I don't know what the energy is going on with you. Let's take a look. But I feel like this person here, they want to hear about all the, all the emotional stuff, all the nurturing, all the supportive, empathetic, the tolerance, the acceptance, the respect, the compliments, the, aff the affirmations that this person well they your person sits in this position here and that's all that they want they don't really want anything else at least in june that's what they want and uh, that nine of swords gives me a sense that they feel like with the seven of swords that you know they're not going to get that because or that it's not real i don't know i kind of feel like this person gets really stressed here and they maybe need that daily they need that reassurance or that love or that affection or those love affirmations daily okay so virgo you have the page of cups so your communication or love affirmations to this person is very mild and very sweet um there's not a lot of depth to the page of cups okay there's the empress again that i feel like that came out in the same place yesterday and that was the position of you there's not a, oh, okay virgo you get very like you tiptoe i see you tiptoeing when it comes to expressing your feelings with this person and it feels mostly to do with heartbreak or having been heartbroken and so maybe there's an issue or unhealed wounds you know you still got some swords in your heart here that haven't completely like it, these wounds can't heal unless those swords come out those swords you know you got to remove the splinter before the wound can heal you got a couple of splinters in your heart you know and hmm because you, you you show up here as the empress you're very you're very affectionate and nurturing and loving and warm. You got that motherly um, way about you. And I know I have some guys on my channel here, but try to take it as an energy where it's maybe more or less like protective. Um, but I, I, I speak mostly to the women because the majority of my, my viewers are women here. So, you know, I got to speak to the masses. But you guys are, you're smart. You, you male Virgos are smart. You can decipher and discern what I'm talking about here. And if you can't, you complain, then, you know, click off. So, yeah, you, you're very much a tiptoer. And, you know, it's not really uncommon for Virgos to keep their emotions a bit under wrap. And they tend to do that unless they feel safe. Um, so, I don't know. What's the, is the question? Do you not feel safe with this person? You know, maybe it's them. Maybe they're not putting out enough to give you a sense of like, hey, it's okay to share how you feel. You know, uh, you very well could be dealing with someone that is more of a taker than a giver. And, and maybe you're getting some red flags. Maybe you're not. I don't know. I mean, a part of you, Virgo, too, is trying to really just apologize to yourself for allowing your heart to be broken. But I don't think you need to do that. I think you just need to accept well you need to remove those swords first of all and accept whatever happened in the past happened forgive and move on that's that's how you heal let's see what else is going on with you yeah see it's all coming out virgo <laughs> you're hesitant you have very strong boundaries and walls up here now listen i am not at all like, you know, you, everybody knows your situation, your own situation. And if you got someone here who's very much a taker and not a giver or very minimal and you're, someone's putting too much effort into a relationship versus the other person, like, and you don't feel comfortable, you don't feel safe with that to some degree, even if you are giving and giving or you've been trying and you're just not getting that much in return well then that's kind of a different situation here and you may need to take a look because you we have to have balance in our relationships right now if you haven't been 
affectionate or nurturing or caring or things like that, or you've just been very hesitant and very mild with it um, because you're trying not to get hurt, you might need to have that conversation with your person and express to them, you know, what's going on if they bring it up. Now, here's the thing. There will be a call, right? So you do have love call. And I do feel like there will be someone here who tells you they miss you or they're thinking of you. Um, and that could be an opportunity to start up some dialogue with this person about what's going on with you. Only if you feel, you know, safe with this person. To, to be able to, like, you feel safe enough that you can open up to them. Oh. Okay, there's a King of Cups. So we do have a match here, King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So it really just confirms masculine and feminine energy here, water energy. Now, with the Tower, some of you might feel like your person, it doesn't matter what sign they are, these are just who's showing up. Some of you might feel like your person is very kind and empathetic and supportive which is the king of cups as well there is a match here but some of you might feel like your person um hmm. is going to ruin you or hurt you yeah or they're, or like if you open up to them, you just got some, you got some stuff going on here, Virgo. You do. There's a trust issue. You're afraid to open up to this person because they might destroy your trust, break your trust. Yes, look. Five of swords. All right, that's very much um, someone that holds those three swords. Just like the Three of Swords there, you see? Some of you might have some kind of thing going on that you don't feel safe or that you feel like you this person's just going to stab you in the back. or Well, not stab you in the back, but like in your heart or hurt you. Hmm. So, I mean, when, it, when readings like this come out, it kind of feels to me like you have a decision that you need to make, you know? You, you you need to pick a lane. You need to get off the fence. You're either going to have the conversation and be open and tell somebody how you're feeling and take your take your chances. Or you, you got to be like, no, I can't do it. I just can't. Either you can't do it with this person or you just can't do it again. You're just not ready. And maybe you need to have that conversation with this person, you know. But I do feel like... On their end, like I said, I feel like I'm reiterating, they're on this thing where like something's got to give here. They have you in their memories. Maybe you knew them before. They want to make new memories. They have old memories of you. Whatever the situation is, it's, it's not a new love, you guys. This is not a new, this is you and the issue with your person, okay? Let's take a look at the outcome, how things are going to go. All right, well, it's going to get toxic if it doesn't, if the conversation doesn't happen. <laughs> the devil and the ace of cups. I mean, seriously? So they're pretty much telling me it can go either way. You guys can have a, a new start and a blessing where uh, with the ace of cups, you know, there's like a, it's they're not going to give you like a one-way outcome they're telling you it, it could get really you could get very sick you have a decision you have to make and so do they uh, let me get a little more clarity but i will also say okay now they're saying as a whole now there is potential for healing with this devil energy this toxic this this chain 
almost like an addiction or two people who are just kind of stuck on each other but it goes nowhere you're just spinning your wheels together because nobody's really taking any major chances here or opening up it is definitely though i keep hearing the phrase something's got to give and it's coming from them and i'm not trying to make you feel guilty about anything i, I don't think spirit's trying to say that i feel like spirit's just trying to say you, you know you have to figure out what you what you want to do you got to like kind of assess your relationship here King of Wands, take a bold step. Could be a fire sign involved as well. <sighs> okay. There could be a new start with a fire sign. If you decide, Virgo, that you feel like you got to give this person some truth to be honest with them and be candid, that it just feels very fleeting the relationship with them could be a cap no i'm not even getting into those signs uh, you could take on the queen of swords energy and you may need to if you make a decision that you know what this relationship really isn't going to go anywhere it's fleeting it's in and out and it's just not going to work for you and you could tell them you don't feel safe opening up you got to let somebody either off the hook or let yourself off the hook if you do that there is an opportunity, because I was saying there wasn't any new love. Well, now there is. There is an opportunity for you to connect with a fire sign. Somebody new. If you're dealing with a fire sign already in this area, this is a new fire sign. Okay? Who will fight for the relationship. But I, I feel like if you have already had a conversation with your person and you were the one who was like look something's got to give here we got to feel like what are we doing that kind of thing and they really just were being vague or they weren't they weren't giving you a direction or saying what they wanted or anything then you may need to just make the decision you know i don't feel safe with that i need to know at least uh, like I, I don't know any virgo unless they're completely stoned <laughs> which i don't know anything about that i don't smoke but the majority of Virgos kind of like to know where they're going in life, at least to have some idea. In relationships and jobs, Virgos are very progressive. They work very hard. They like their routines. They don't do things for no purpose. There's, there's always a purpose to a Virgo, and even with a relationship. And even if the relationship is just going to be, we're going to be in this boat, and we're not going to have any oars, and we're just going to go down the river and float, and wherever we end up is where we end up. If Virgo is told that or knows that, Virgo's like, that's okay. At least I know, you know, I'm speaking for you. But Virgos are not comfortable with just drifting completely without knowing that the, that the purpose here is to just drift. Do you catch my drift? <laughs> you know, so... But I feel like for you, Virgo, you have to be the one to know what you want first. Like, what do you want? And you have to kind of communicate to this person. Maybe you are the Virgo that with this person here in your life, it's just a f casual relationship, right? You might be that Virgo that's in a casual fling and they want more. And if that's the case, which seems like something's got to give, it seems like in that scenario yeah they do want more and you don't then you got to be honest with them just like you would expect that from somebody else and you got to tell them no nope, um, we're just going to drift down no oars this is what i'm doing this is what i want this is what i'm only capable of right you have to be the one to tell them and then let someone off the hook if you want more then be honest and tell them that okay but ask yourself like you know what i just don't believe in wasting time I just feel like nip shit in the bud, you know? Don't waste time guessing, playing games, or um, like if there's something you want to know, don't be afraid to ask a question. Ask. And if somebody is kind of turns around on you and gets annoyed at you for asking, or is just like, why do you keep bothering me with this? Or, you know, 
Why do you keep checking in? You know, that's normal. That's healthy. That's what healthy relationships are. We check in on each other. We see how we're how you're doing. You see how I'm doing, that kind of thing, right? And if someone's annoyed with you about that, let them go. Because I don't know if that's like a narcissist or what the deal is, you know? Um, but don't be afraid to stand up for yourself in that way, right? Be in your truth, Virgo. No matter what is going on with this person, be in your truth. If you don't want more from this relationship, they do. They, they, they want to know what's going on. And I feel like there's going to be a phone call and a love call to try to find out, you know, what's going on. Or that kind of thing, just to open up some dialogue. I mean, I feel like somebody here really does love you. Um, but I feel like be truthful. And if they have, if you find out they have somebody else in their life, you need to like address things. Don't let the elephant roam around the room and just, oh, what elephant? What elephant? And then you're just so uncomfortable. Like, don't live your life like that. Address shit. <laughs> I'm August 23rd, Virgo. So just so y'all know, I got Bur uh, Leo in me. So I don't mind. I I'll stand right up to that elephant and be like, what the hell are you doing in here? Outside. I'm not, no, elephants don't belong in the room. Sorry. Go back to Africa. I don't know what the hell you're doing. Address it. All right. So this king of uh, wands shows up to be very spiritual and very patient. Hmm. Very spiritual, very patient. Let's talk more about this new person. Yeah, waiting for you. Hmm. Now, you know, Virgo, I'm just letting you know. And I don't I don't think like there's a there's a fine line between getting out of one relationship and going to the other, right? And maybe that's what you're gonna do here. Um but check yourself and ask yourself, like, why are you doing that? Are you leaving one relationship because it's just been dead for so long and you've done everything you could and it just there's no response. You're like kicking a dead horse, trying to breathe life into a dead horse if that's been your situation i mean that thing is dead it's not coming back you can electric shock it all you want so if that's your situation you're going into somebody else or connecting with somebody else fine go ahead but if you're running from a relationship because you have fear and you go into another relationship you know obviously you're not dealing with anything so those feelings are going to just resurface again with somebody new but i will say if that's not your situation and you're just like, hmm, you make a decision and you decide to walk away from a relationship. I do see, of course, there's going to be somebody else in your life, right? And I know all of you, well, not all of you, but some of you are like, there isn't anybody in my life right now. And so, you know, you could just sit back and listen. I guess this is not your reading. This is for someone who's obviously going through something here. Pretty serious. What else does Virgo need to know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, love is coming. The past love, especially. You got quite a few scenarios. If you walk away, if you decide, you know, that you don't want to be with someone because you don't feel comfortable, I mean, this person is not going to stop trying to connect with you. This, whoever your person is right now. Okay, we're going to leave the new person over here for now. I feel like they're, they're going to keep trying. And maybe that's why you need to be candid. But I feel like, this, whoever your person is, Virgo, they absolutely adore you. They love you. They do. They want to just share, give to you. They want you to love them back. They want you to open up. And I feel like they're just going to keep, you know, reaching out. Maybe not every single day, but definitely um, keep trying to romance you in some way. But you know what? That's not your problem. You know, because if you're not interested or it's just done, then, you know, it is what it is. This person's just secretly in love with you. Like, they just... The High Priestess, the Knight of Wands. Every time... I'm hearing every time they return or come back into your life or reach out, it's because, like, they want to... They want to offer. Make that love offer to you. But they don't because they don't want to get rejected. Because they're not sure... I don't know what I don't know what it's going to take for them to to realize. I mean, I guess if you 
do everything you possibly can and you've reached your limit and they're still unsure, then I guess that's on them. You know, what are you going to do? But yeah, look, you have, I mean, I just feel like whoever your person is, Virgo, they are head over heels for you. And I'm not saying that, you know, if <laughs> I just feel like a spirit keeps re reiterating don't overgive to the point where you are losing yourself. If you've given and given and given and this person just does not get it or they don't believe you or whatever because they have, remember you had the, uh, uh, this person had the nine of swords and the seven of swords stressing about you leaving them or abandoning them or them being a failure. So they, obviously they have some internal things going on that they got to deal with and you can't fix that, Right. It doesn't mean that they don't want to be with you. I mean, it definitely does, but it doesn't mean you have to be with them. You know, it just feels to me like, yeah, you got someone here who's like really into you. Like emotionally and support you. And, you know, I don't know if they show it. I don't know what the level is, but the call's coming in, the love call in June. And you already saw that in the last reading. And I feel like this person just telling you that they miss you or that they love you or that they're thinking about you and whatever is all coming from that place of they need you they just need you <laughs> okay strictly sexual now for some of you it might be for some of you like i said we're not going to get into that either it's just strictly sexual for you and you're not you're not in love with this person and that's fine you got to just be honest and tell them you're just interested in a fling. You, you're too busy. You travel too much, whatever. Okay. You might regret not telling them. Right. That's what I feel like the issue here is. Um, yeah. You might regret it if you don't, if you're not honest, just be forthcoming. Yeah. See, I do feel like even with the, gosh, Virgo, even with the, devil there there is like some kind of addiction maybe even a sexual addiction here in this relationship that like someone might think they're in love this is going really haywire they want another chance don't yeah um virgo i don't know are you gonna do you have like a predicament do you have someone here virgo who's like so into you that even if you tell them the truth that you don't or that you can't do this relationship or that you don't want what they want whatever the issue is my gosh it's like they're not going to leave you alone okay some of you it's a friendship and it's just a friendship some of you it's just your buddy it could be a friends with benefits like i said we already covered that but for some of you it's just a friendship there's nothing sexual and this person's like so crazy about you i, I don't know that there has to be a conversation, though. You, some of you have a like. Some of you have a, have a friend with benefits. It's like falling in love with you. Maybe you wanted that. Maybe you wanted a love relationship with this person. I feel like some of you did, and it started off maybe as a friend with benefits, but now it's it's turning, and now they're falling like they're in love with you, Virgo. Like they're, I feel like this, like they are, <laughs> your true love is already <laughs> part of your life here and now. Forgive yourself or another will help you move forward. Oh my gosh. Virgo. Oh, right. Of course. Twin flame for some of you. This is like, this is that twin flame thing where it's like, oh my God, why are we still engaging with each other? Or why are you still engaging with me or vice versa? Can't get enough of each other. Some of you, like the new love opportunity is here as well. Oh, I don't know, Virgo. I feel like you need to choose a lane, pick a lane. If you're choosing to be with this person, I will say that they need an awful lot of affection and romance and reassurance. And you're going to wind up giving a whole lot more like, I feel like you're going to do a lot of the work. But at the same time, I, I feel, no, I feel, let me rephrase it. I feel like they're going to need you to do most of the work, but you shouldn't. You should not. 
you should not do everything. Just give your 100% best of who you are, but you should not cover them either. They got to do it. And I feel like they want to. Like I said in the beginning, I don't know. This is going sideways. This is just going sideways. You know, I'm going to just, when I as I'm doing these readings, you guys, I'm just going to go back to the Celtic Cross readings because I don't know. There's so many different messages that are coming out now where it's just this over here. And I feel like I might be confusing you guys. I don't want to confuse you. So if anybody feels like you've lost track or you don't know what's going on, my apologies. <laughs> Maybe listen to it a few more times and don't try to force it to fit, but just pick out what, what does resonate for you. Um, it could just be me, you know, like I said yesterday, I have a tendency to over explain. All right, let's get into the Chinese sign. Let's see what this person's Chinese sign is that you're dealing with. Okay, year of the monkey, year of the rooster. It could be you and it could be, or it could be them, both of you. Year of the goat, year of the horse, year of the tiger, year of the dragon, <clears throat> year of the ox, and a year of the snake. Wow, Virgo. You guys, I don't even know. I just don't. I just feel like there's a lot going on. All right, let's take a look. See what we have here. All right, Cancer, Cancer, Leo, Pisces. September 8th, 1981, 1965, 1979, so, uh, 34, 55, 68, August 30th, 73, 77, 48, September 4th, the 17th, the 31st, 52, 46, 19, okay, 41, all right, you guys, January, something significant happened in January between you and this person, okay, um, okay, we have a P, we have an A, we have a K, we have an X, we have a J, we have E, we have B, O, we have a C, a U, I, we have an N, and the month of October. Very significant. All right, let me see. Peanut butter and jelly time. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, somebody is working on their coin maybe doing some Bitcoin at this time, doing something with Bitcoin. Somebody's name is Jeb, J-E-B. Somebody is getting a job or just got a, a new job or a job, congratulations. Okay. Somebody's part of the Ku Klux Klan. What the? Okay, nobody needs to know about that right here in the readings. We got JJ, somebody's name JJ. Okay, somebody's thinking about their grandpa, thinking about their grandpa, or somebody's name is Pa or Grandpa, something coming up with the name Pa. Um, somebody's vaping, using a vape. Somebody's a cuckold. I'm just going to say that real quick, cuckold. Somebody does the cuckold thing. Okay, um, somebody says, uh, okay, that's weird. So, you know, when someone... You know the word nice? So when somebody says, like, uh, somebody uses a compliment or something, they say nice. Well, this there's person here, somebody's person here says nice. <laughs> Maybe that's a Philly thing. I don't even know. N-O-I-C-E. I'm also picking up a niece. A niece is very significant in June. CJ. Somebody's name is CJ. Oh, and JC. Hey, what would JC do? Okay. Uh, somebody's got pigs or is having some ham or bacon. See pigs. Somebody's in British Columbia. Yes, yes, yes. 
Mm, somebody was, okay, now they're telling me BJ. So maybe that's somebody's name. <laughs> you know how it gets here, you guys, right? You know how it gets. All right. Let me get a couple of charms. So I was thinking, you guys, I got a spoon for my charms. So I call it like my bowl of lucky charms. So in the morning, with my orange juice, my bowl of lucky charms. Yeah, I know. I'm a little cray. All right. So we have a seahorse. And a seahorse and a bass fish. Bass. Like a bass, like fish. Catching a fish. Keep that mouth shut, Virgo. Catch a lot of flies with an open mouth. Okay. And a starfish. So what's going on? We got some beachy stuff going on here. Um, somebody's having a baby shower at a beach or somewhere on the coast. Little boy. I'm seeing a boy. Maybe it's a gender reveal kind of thing or that kind of thing. We know we're, we're hearing are decorating a baby's room with beachy stuff or just a maybe any room. I have a beachy seashell kind of beachy room. And there's also a spider here. So, mm, I was just saying, catching flies. I don't know, black widow? Somebody might be a widow here. Uh, something to do with a spider. There's a connection to it. It could be a tattoo, it could be something to do with Spider-Man. Um, there's spider energy here. Something to do with a spider. I feel like I just want to get a couple more. Okay. Oh, beautiful. So you've got the moon and you have Saturn looking up at the night sky, the stars, the moon. Beautiful. Outer space looking at the planets or planetarium connection to planets. You know, I know, you know, and then we've got a crown here. Crown Crown Royal? Does somebody like drinking a drink? Isn't there a drink called Crown Royal? Hmm. Oh. Oh. Okay. This is pretty profound. I'm seeing um uh how should I say this? Give me a second. I'm seeing Prince William getting crowned. Or the king's crown very soon. Right? Prince William, is that what he's called? Prince Prince of Wales. Prince William of Wales is going to be crowned, you guys, very, very soon. King's crown. Perhaps by the end of this year. But definitely I'm feeling this energy real strong even when I touch it. Feeling that really strong. King William. Here's even a dress. Oh my gosh, Princess Kate. Yo, okay. Now I'm doing like a life global uh, <laughs> current event prediction here. King and queen. Yeah, yeah, okay. You know, um, and somebody here, you might be, maybe you're a dressmaker. This does feel like a kind of a, a bride's gown as well. So there might be a wedding. Um, and also Victorian, something, maybe somebody's name is Victoria, but there's connection to something Victorian, like costume wise or clothing, Victorian clothing, or, um, maybe that's for children, a child's outfit or something for a play. Um, maybe playing the part uh, as a princess or a queen or making costumes or something along those lines. And, I'm, and yeah, obviously, there's a blue bow. So mm, that kind of gives me, like it's a bow, but it makes me feel like a blue ribbon. That somebody wears a blue ribbon, maybe for a charity or something that's very special to their heart, like a blue, a blue ribbon. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to leave that there. Yeah, um, that was interesting, to say the least. And a little bit longer, I'm going to try to go a little bit longer um, with the readings if I can, right? Because I know we've been kind of short, but I'm thinking I might cut back the readings, but make them longer each one I do. So I will let you guys know 
um, with the summer and I get a lot of stuff going on. And um, I wasn't actually going to do a reading tonight because I had um, a family member um, uh, pass away. So, um, but I felt like, um, you know, work is very ther therapeutic for us, right? So it helps. Um, oh, and somebody lives in apartment 8A. I just heard. Tell them 8A. Or you're going to get an apartment or called 8A. There's an address, 8A. All right. All right, I'm going to leave that there. Yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you all back here tomorrow or um, Wednesday. You'll know. You'll see. You'll get a notification. Make sure you click that notification bell so that you get alerted when my video premieres, okay? If you're new to my channel. If you don't, if you click the bell on YouTube, you have to go into your phone and make sure you enable notifications or you won't get it, okay? And a lot of time, I feel like YouTube is um, unsubscribing people and removing their notification bell. So make sure that you are still subscribed to my channel. You'll have to double check. Make sure if you haven't been getting notifications, it could just be that. All right, you guys, I will see you all back here tomorrow. My heart rages around like an ocean.